The spring constant of a spring tells us how stiff a spring is. Remember that deformations occur when multiple forces are applied to an object. These include extensions and compressions. When a known force is applied to the spring, the spring constant can be used to calculate the extension that this force causes. The extension is the force applied divided by the spring constant. The variable k is typically used to represent a spring constant, but we can also define spring constants for objects that aren't springs. This calculation can only be done if the spring is not overstretched, so it's not past the limit of elastic deformation. So what can we determine about springs with different spring constants? Springs with small spring constants will stretch further for a given force. So in this example, we're extending two different springs with the same force. The top spring doesn't extend as much, so we know that it has a larger spring constant. The bottom spring shows a larger extension, so it must have a smaller spring constant. So does the spring constant only apply to extensions? The spring constant can also describe compressions of springs. In this example, we're compressing two different springs with the same force. The top spring doesn't compress as much, so we know that it has the larger spring constant, whereas the bottom spring shows more compression, and therefore it has a smaller spring constant. You should be able to compare the behaviours of springs given their spring constants in your exams. So how exactly would we determine the spring constant of a spring? Well, the spring constant can be determined by hanging masses of known weights from the spring and measuring the extension. So we hang a weight from the spring, as this is a measurable extension force. But we must be careful not to add too much weight that could cause inelastic extensions. So we measure the extension by looking at the change in position of the bottom of the spring. Then if we divide the force applied by the extension of the spring, we get the spring constant. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.